Until recently, the world was split in two. In one half, virtually all children were vaccinated, had sufficient nutrition, and received proper treatment for common illnesses like diarrhea and pneumonia. The number of children in this half who died before they reached the age of five was well under 1%. In the other half of the world, about 15% of these children died before they turned five. In some countries, the percentage was even higher. But the progress made in healthcare in the past 23 years indicate that we can improve child life expectancies, bringing these two worlds into balance. Health is where we've spent the most money. The majority of our work uh, has been there. Uh, part of that is, is the upstream science, inventing new vaccines, and part of it's been the downstream. Once you have those vaccines, how do you get them out to all the world's children? The system has had a tendency to get medicines to rich kids who are less at risk of getting disease and not get them out to the kids who need it most. And slowly but surely understanding cold chain and measurement systems, working with the countries, that's getting a lot better. Uh, we've worked with countries like Ethiopia who've had a big commitment uh, to get their healthcare system working. We used a little bit of technology, but just getting people to fill out the tally sheets, uh, having the people who do the deliveries take a photo of what the inventory currently looks like and getting those photos all collected up so you see very early on when things are going wrong. We can get high performance even in, in very poor countries. Some will be tough. Nigeria's health system's not good. Pakistan's is uh, not good, but we have people and our partners there applying the lessons of Rwanda and Ethiopia to those places. We're raising the money so that the limited budget so those countries don't block them from getting even the, the very latest vaccine. So one for diarrhea called rotavirus. Next five years, we'll get out to all the kids. One for respiratory disease called pneumococcus. I will get out to all the kids. And those two alone will save over half a million lives. And that's why we think uh, we can go from the one in 20 kids who died before the age of five, uh, 15 years from now, get that down to be one in 40. In 1980, smallpox was eradicated. The first and only time in human history a disease was eradicated. To say that destroying a disease is difficult is an understatement, but it's neither impossible or impractical. In 2030, polio and other major diseases, elephantitis, river blindness, and blinding trachoma will be completely eradicated from the earth. All these major breakthroughs give you a picture of how much progress we can make in the next 15 years. Life will get better, faster, because the number of innovations reaching the poor will be greater than ever before. The world won't be split in two any longer.